words are there in my brain. I just can't get them out. Gabby Giffords making her way back to the Capitol. Too many children are dying. Too many children. We must do something. Nobody could have been more compelling than Gabby was that day. The new film, Gabby Giffords Won't Back Down, tells the extraordinary story of the former Arizona Congresswoman's incredible fight to recover from a mass shooting and her new life as one of the most effective activists for gun control. The film's directors, Betsy West and Julie Cohen, join us now live. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Larry and Robin. So for those who are, I mean, I, a lot of people I know are familiar with what happened to the Arizona Congresswoman, but tell us what happened specifically in 2011. Yeah, well, Gabby Giffords was shot uh, in the, directly in the head in a mass shooting in a Tucson parking lot uh, in 2011. People know that, but what people don't often understand is just how remarkable her comeback since that time has been, how hard she's fought to regain movement and language and become a really effective advocate against gun violence. Yeah, how was music a big part of her rehabilitation, and is she fully rehabilitated? Is this something that she has to continue to work at? You know, uh, Gabby Giffords was a very musical person before the shooting, and it turns out that music was really instrumental in her ability to come back because music is located in all parts of your brain, not just in the part where Gabby was shot. So from the very beginning of her rehab, she was singing, uh, you know, girls just want to have fun, and she continues to use music as a way to regain language. Mm. She does have aphasia. She works on on that every day, but she has become a very effective communicator. Aphasia is what we, you know, for those who didn't know, became familiar with that term when Bruce Willis, uh, his family released that he is suffering from that. What is it specifically? Yeah, aphasia is a language disorder that can imp that impacts your brain in such a way that processing language or, and or expressing language becomes more of a challenge. It can happen, um, you know, as as in Bruce Willis's case, it can be a medical condition that that occurs naturally as a result of illness. In Gabby Gifford's uh, case, of course, it can be caused by a brain injury, such as a bullet directly to the language mm. center of one's brain. The shooter had a history of mental illness. How was he able to get a gun? You know, the shooter uh, was able to just purchase a gun. There was no, uh, you know, background check, didn't show up anything, even though he had had a mental health issues. Uh, one store uh, clerk uh, refused to give him bullets the morning of the shooting because they thought he just seemed odd. But uh, he did uh, obtain bullets elsewhere, and, uh, you know, he shot Gabby Giffords and murdered six other people, injured 12 others. It was really one of the first of the horrific mass shootings in our country that got so much attention. Yeah, really, that was 2011, and in the 11 years since, it seems like the mass shootings have ramped up. What is Gabby and her husband doing uh, for gun prevention these days? I know she's an advocate. Yeah, so Gabby is on Capitol Hill and in states across the USA all the time fighting for stronger reforms. Um, they've been pushing for universal background checks. That still hasn't happened, but recent legislation that Gabby was very involved in fighting for has been signed into law. That takes some moves in that direction that universalizes background checks for 18 to 21 year olds, the contingent of the population who's responsible for so many of these recent mass shootings. Even a majority of the members of the NRA approve of sort of these, what, what are described as common sense uh, gun safety measures and the, and the assault weapons culture is a, is a minority of that. So how do, how is Congress uh, so held in, in the grips of this situation? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, when we interviewed President Obama, he talked about the the relationship that uh, Americans have with their guns, a kind of gun culture, and uh, the fact that the NRA has been very effective and other organizations in lobbying Congress. But Gabby is part of a new movement uh, that she and others believe are making a difference and and could affect some change in uh, you know winning gun safety. 
Well, the film is out now. You can get details at GabbyGiffordsWon'tBackDown.com or on Instagram, and you can follow Betsy and Julie on Twitter. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. Yeah.